What's going on, everybody? Um, another edition of the Truth TV podcast, keep you informed about things going on around the world and entertainment world. Make sure to hit that notification bell for uh, um, video updates. Also hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button. Now, um, Meek Mill had spoken out about a person, the man that was killed in um, North Philadelphia. They call it Brewery Town. Um, a few days ago. Now, to give you some backstory, his name was the guy that died. His name was Milan Lunkar. He was a Caucasian man, and he was approached by two people. Um, they demanded money. Apparently, he gave them the money, but he was still shot anyway, and he um, later died. Okay, now, they said the suspect's name it was David Josephus. Davis Josephus. Okay. He was arrested for this killing and he is in jail without any bail. If you know, if you get arrested for murder, you're not going to have any bail. You are remanded until a trial. Okay. Now, Meek Mill. Now, before he spoke out, eventually there was a lot of outrage going on and the vicious, vicious, ignorant comments some racist comments that i've seen on facebook it, it, it just baffled me because you, you had the language like i told you these thugs were dangerous i told you these are animals they need to be locked up oh they need to die you got nothing but thugs in the city and this that and the third and when you you know mention the name thugs especially when it comes from caucasian people you know what they want to say because another name word for thug is the N word. And I've heard this. Oh, this is what they do. This is what they do. And then you had some people will come out and say, I told you this is a hate crime. He need to be charged with a hate crime. Um, No, it wasn't a hate crime. That was a robbery. Robbery gone bad and he got killed. Now, let me tell you something. This killing was unacceptable it was ridiculous it was disgusting it was awful for what happened to that young man because that young man didn't deserve to die walking a dog minding your own business he did not deserve to die so i'm not going to sit here and you know defend any because a lot of people say oh you're defending shooting no, i'm not defending anything because if that happened to one of my children or anybody, I will be looking for blood just to just to let you know. I'm not these type of people because you have certain pro black people that come on YouTube and, you know, celebrate a, a, a killing of a, a white person. I'm not doing that because I don't hate white people. Because some people that come on here and they talk about how much the white man is the devil, how much they can't stand white people. These these same people that work with white folks and befriended these white folks. So moving on from that. Continuing. You know, it was a lot of outrage. I spoke out against it and then people got offended about what I say because I posted a comment. I said, you know, I said. I know what you want to say, but you're not going to say it. So you use cold words. And I know what cold words they use. And then some person said, oh, I'm deeply offended about what you say. Hey, how dare you say that? How dare I say what? This is the truth. And you, and, you, and you get in your feelings because, you know, you know, it's the truth. Yeah, this guy did something horrible. He is a savage. He deserves to be locked up. He deserves to be charged with murder. He deserves the key to be thrown away. Okay. He just did. It was wrong for what he did. But now I'm going to read you what Meek Mill said about this situation. Because Meek Mill said something about this situation. And this is what Meek Mill said on Twitter. If you don't believe me, uh, go follow Meek Mill on Twitter. Meek Mill said, it's sad what happened to him. It, and it's terrible, but it shows value how serious y'all take it when a white person died by violence. Y'all want to make a top priority in the media. But Philadelphia just had 500 murders this year. Some of my friends didn't even make the news. Now, I have to uh, tend to agree with what Meek Mill said. You have 500 murders this year, but this coverage of this guy being killed got 
three to four days coverage and they're still talking about it. Okay. And I'm going to bring up what about that 11 year old boy that got shot in the head when he was opening up a door that got like a, a, a day and that was it on to the next. What about all these other murders happening in Philly? What about them? Okay, so it goes to show you how the media makes it top priority. You know, when there's a white person that gets killed, oh, it's top news. Oh, my goodness, it's a big deal. How dare they? Okay, then they had his bail was reduced. You know, I think his bail was reduced to like 3,000 or something like that. It was 3,000. His bail was reduced to thirty two hundred. I think he paid ten percent of thirty two hundred. It's like three hundred dollars or something like that. His bail was reduced to thirty two hundred. But out of five hundred murders in this city, this is of uh, on in twenty twenty, this is the most coverage I've ever seen get coverage like this because it was a white man. Now, like I said before. Nobody sitting here and saying that, oh, no, the murder wasn't wrong and he should have been. No one's saying that. Like I said before, what happened to that man was terrible. But why, if you're going to cover this guy like that, you should cover everybody's like that. And then you had a news person come on YouTube and say, no, you're wrong. We do cover murders here. You do cover this and you cover that. No, you don't. You don't cover all of them. You don't get extensive coverage like you did this one. This five days, they've been covering this five days. And this is what the media does. The media will make it a priority to find out, to figure out who killed it, killed this guy because he was white. That's just what it is. Nobody is saying that his murder or anybody else's murder take precedent over everybody. A life taken is wrong. You shouldn't take somebody, especially an innocent person. But I will have to tell Meek Mill this. Meek Mill has a platform. Meek Mill has a platform. He has enough money to start a media company. He has enough money to go on social media. He has enough money to go on out in the streets and say, you know what? Enough is enough. You are killing our young kids. You are killing our, our young boys. And just last night, um, three teenagers got killed. There was a 17 year old that got killed. I mean, it is ridiculous about how many murders goes on in the black community and nobody talks about it. So we have a problem in our own community and we got to sit here and we got to separate from these savages and the people who defend these savages in the community. Because you got, you know, savage sympathizers in, in our community. We'll sit there and defend. And then you got the no snitch code. Oh, you shouldn't snitch. So you mean to tell me if somebody kills a family member or somebody kills somebody, you're sitting there saying, I'm not saying the family, but other people, man, I ain't telling who did that. I'm not sitting there telling who did that. I ain't snitching, but you know who did it, but you're not saying anything and you're not getting justice or closure for that family. And then the first thing you do when somebody get arrested for that, you say, well, he should be free, free them, free them. Why would you free them? To put them back out on the street and harm somebody else? Come on, this is ridiculous. 500 people being killed. And yeah, Meek Mill was right. This, is, this killing's got more extensive coverage than any other killing that I have seen. Now, if it's a black police officer, yeah, they're going to um, have coverage of that because it's a police officer. But I'm just talking about a black person being killed. Because black life isn't valued in this society more than a white life. I'm just saying what it is. Get mad at me all you want. Sit there and, and, and get upset and take events all you want. But that's the truth. So as black people, we have to create our own platforms, 
create our own news outlets and to sit here and point out these things and point out the things that have happened because mainstream media is not going to do it. They'll do it for about two, two seconds and they'll move on to something else. You have to make your voice heard. You have to make your life matter. That's what you have to do. And, you know, like I said before, it is sad what happened to this person. And I said before, the person that did it should go to jail for the rest of his life. Because you're going out there, you you, you got released out of uh, 300, you got a $3,000 bail. You're only paying 10% of that, which is probably $320. You get a second chance and you go out there and you rob somebody. And they, after they gave you the money, you turn around and shoot them. All right, you don't rob the man, go on about your business, but you sit there and kill him. Like I said, these people are just stupid. Like you wanted to go, like, you know what? I'm going to shoot him. I want to go to jail. And this was not a hate crime. So please, anybody come on here and say, oh, it's a hate crime. You're an idiot because it's not a hate crime. A hate crime is when you hang somebody from a tree. A hate crime is when you drag a person on the ground, James Byrd Jr. That, that's a hate crime because he was brutally murdered, tortured. His head uh, torn off his body. That, that's a hate crime. Hate crime is when you kill somebody because you're bl- because they're black. That's a hate crime. So don't hand me that nonsense. Oh, it's a hate crime. No, it's not. It was a robbery. What the person did was stupid and he should pay for it. But some of y'all will just sit there and complain and sit there and say that because you want the same. You just want to create noise. So miss me with the hate crime. But tell me what you think about this um, situation. Um, what you think about Meek Mills? Should Meek Mills said should have should Meek Mill has said what he said? Was he right in doing it or was he wrong? Leave me a comment in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.